we're about to make maybe the most delicious fish I've certainly ever had, and maybe you too. Okay, Nobu, a very famous Japanese restaurant, makes an amazing black cod. Amazing, it's delicious. It's marinated for 24 hours and all kinds of stuff is done to it. We're gonna make one right now. Five ingredients and the cod, and it's gonna be really damn close. Really damn close. And you make it like that. And our sauce begins with a half a cup of soy, third of a cup of sugar, quarter cup of sake, teaspoon of minced garlic, the juice of one lemon, clove of garlic. Now we're gonna bring it to a quick little boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let it sit for seven, eight minutes till it starts to get thick and a little bit syrupy. Of course, stirring as we go and let it do its thing. We want it thicker and syrupier than that. As the sauce is thickening, let's talk fish. I'm using black cod. Look at a gorgeous piece of black cod, also known as sable fish. This comes from a place in uh, Canada off the west coast. Vancouver Island called Gindara Sablefish. It's farmed, and I'm pointing this out because a lot of people think farmed fish is bad, and it's only bad if it's made and farmed in a bad place that doesn't treat the fish properly. You know, you need to ask questions uh, from your fishmonger. Uh, how was it raised? What, what's its diet? Are, are they fed antibiotics? Is it a low density farm, meaning not many fish, so they don't rub up against each other and the natural oily scales come off, that kind of stuff. Fish farmed the right way is delicious. And this Gindara black cod sable fish is gonna be unbelievable. That being said, if you have salmon, this works really well with salmon too. But the buttery oiliness of cod is my favorite. And when the sauce is ready, we brush it on the fish. Shiny, black, glistening, Smells amazing. Oh, it's gonna do such nice stuff to this. Or salmon, or whatever you're using. It would be fantastic on scallops. And under the broiler. And so in it goes. We're gonna watch it. It might smoke a little bit. It's about this far away from the broiling coils. And that's what you want. We're not gonna flip it. It's gonna cook it perfectly. It's gonna be amazing. Maybe one base in the middle, certainly one when it comes out. But oh boy, just you wait. Okay, let's give it a little base. See, there's that smoke I promised, but look what's happening. Look how amazing that is. And honestly, if you look straight down into the sections, you can see that it's almost cooked beautifully all the way through. So now, just some more of this and back in. So it's been in about three, four minutes. We'll give it a two and a half or so more. Boom, and we're done. And by the way, you could eat it completely raw. Not that you want to, but you want it moist, tender, delicious, not dried out. Dried out, it's no good, no good. And ready? Oh, hello, beautiful. How are you? That is magnificent. Five ingredients plus the cod, good Lord. And now before we try it, let's make it a little prettier. First some sesame seeds then a little thinly sliced green onion. Get rid of that one. And here we go. I mean, come on. It's crazy beautiful. Can you imagine bringing this to the table for your guests? And then they take a gentle little piece. Okay, buttery. It's perfect. I'm telling you, don't bake fish. Nobu's an amazing restaurant, but for way less money. You make this at home, make it look like this, you'll be a superstar of your neighborhood. Thanks for hanging out. Hit like, make a comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and come back next time. See ya.